Some of the main problems faced by current high school teens are bullying, stress, and struggles concerning their self-image. Today, I am here with Blue Bear Films, and we will be discussing potential solutions to these common high school problems. We sent our crew down to Belmont High, a school in a small suburban town just outside of Boston. Here, we got a sample of how exercise and athletics can be a simple, easy solution to the problems faced by everyday teens. According to the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, in the past 30 years, childhood obesity has more than doubled in children and quadrupled among adolescents. The percent of adolescents aged 12 to 19 who are obese increased from 5% in 1980 to nearly 21% in 2012. Overall, nearly one-third of children and adolescents are overweight or obese. The New York Times tells us that adolescents are less likely to be overweight or obese when playing on a sports team. Science.com tells us that adolescent boys and girls were anywhere from 5 to 30 times more likely to describe their health and well-being as poor when not playing on a sports team. The American Society for the Positive Care of Children reports that approximately 28% of children aged 12 to 18 have been bullied at school. Although this does seem like a small number, bullying should not be a problem at all. If you are being bullied, you should talk to a trusted loved one or another adult. <clears throat> But, in our trip to Bowman High School, Blue Bear Films did find that there are other possible solutions. Researchers found that kids who spent more time online than outside are more likely to have increased stress levels, more likely to take risks, and are at higher risk for bullying or harassment. I'm Keneally Mullen, and this is a Blue Bear Documentary. When at Belmont High, our crew found that the statistics were correct. Students who play sports see benefits regarding health and social development. We went to Belmont High to talk to a few of these people. Hi, would you please introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Mike Gian Gregorio, and uh, I'm a student athlete at Belmont High School. My name is Joe DiStefano. I play uh, golf, basketball, and baseball here at Belmont High. Hi, my name is Kevin Miller. Uh, I play hockey at the Belmont High School. My name is Will McIsaac. I play football and lacrosse at Belmont High. Uh, hello, my name is Eric Mency. I go to Belmont High School. I play football. So I'm Mr. Streit. I coach, uh, I'm the varsity uh, boys lacrosse coach here at Belmont High School. Hi, my name is Marco Sanagatti. I play hockey and I play lacrosse at Belmont High School. First, we talked about how team sports can improve social skills and prevent school-wide bullying. Uh, I feel like hockey has helped my social, social situation. Uh, some of the teams I play for, I've met kids from different towns, and uh, we've bonded over uh, hockey. I think I've met all my current friends playing sports, like that kid right there. Football has allowed me to make a lot of friends over the past three years. Uh, do, do people develop better social skills playing in team sports? That's something I've always believed in. That's something that I experienced as, uh, as a youth uh, athlete myself and it's one of the main reasons I got into physical education and coaching is because all of the attributes you gain playing on a team help you in life and you very rarely see kids as disciplined um, or putting in the kind of work ethic and other aspects of their life as they do um, with the sports they love so that's one of the reasons so I definitely think that um, 
that that's a major factor, and that's one of the reasons I got into what I do. I, I definitely see the friendships and the social connections between players in different grades. I feel like by the time they get to varsity and they're in the same grade, they're already really good friends with each other, probably because they've been playing the same sports together all the time. Um, but a lot of the teams hang out with each other. The good teams we've had, they hang out with each other a lot more. So that could be an indication to, as far as team chemistry goes. I made a lot of friends playing these sports. Um, it really helped me get through school because like, it gets me through the days because sometimes school can get a little bit boring, but then I know I have a reassurance and I have sports after, so it really helps me out in my days. I have to say friends. Uh, being with people that I like and love, we're, uh, it's like we're a huge family and seeing them almost seven days a week is just awesome. There's something important about being interdependent, meaning having to rely on each other. Um, that kind of creates a couple things. One, conformity or uniformity in, in positive ways um, and reliance on each other, which I don't think is always uh, something that is necessarily taught or evaluated. Next, with this same group, we discussed how exercise and sports can benefit teens physically. Because having practice every day after school and having like a game once or twice a week helps with cardio and all that. Thank you. How does that help me physically? Uh, just gets me in really good shape. I mean, even golf. I mean, golf, you, you know, you're out there walking, but I mean, there's hills, you know, you're out there for a while. I mean, all of it just helps you, like golf, hand-eye, basketball conditioning, baseball, hand-eye conditioning, it's all of that. Yes. So I, I would say by playing lacrosse, uh, players who are on the lacrosse team are in better shape by June than they are in March. We do team runs, we do conditioning, we do, um, we're do. we getting more towards body weight exercises and lifting, but they're in better physical shape by the end of the season than they are at the beginning. With uh, the foot, new football coach and a lot of the teams getting on board, it's been a, a, a cultural change as far as uh, preparing the right way and lifting a lot more. So I've definitely seen kids getting a lot stronger. Um, I also think it's a one of the main motivations. If your coach is making you work out, it's a it's a really good motivator to actually uh, work on your physical fitness. It keeps me in shape because we run around a lot, and coaches make us run after practice sometimes for conditioning. Favorite part about sports is uh, probably the health benefits. Uh, I've actually noticed an increased <laughs> duration in my uh, endurance and my uh, speed. Well, practices practices are very strenuous. Uh, there's a lot of exercise in them, so I, c I get in shape, and my physicality is uh, is at an all-time high. They've really been taking uh, it on themselves in the off season. If you look at the seniors right now, and they'll play football. Uh, hockey and baseball, they're a, they're a lot bigger and stronger than kids in the past. By the end of our trip to Beaumont High School, we concluded that team sports and exercise are exponentially beneficial to a teen's physical and social development. Oh, okay. Hello, Mr. Reynolds. Let's pause that class. I'm Mr. Strike. The American... <sighs> Sorry. Restart. Get out of here. Juice. <laughs> oh, I thought I... Go! <laughs> Hello, Mike. How are you? <laughs> this is Kenny Mullen. Hockey and. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marco. Who's that kid? Actually, I don't know. I'll do it. <laughs>